Welcome to the San Francisco Bay Area. Well, Sacramento. Welcome to Sacramento. Woohoo! Good morning. So this is what it's like to visit friends. <laughs> I wake up in a neighborhood like this. And uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. Parked on the street here. It's not so bad. Been here probably about three or four days though. And I'm already feeling like I can't wait to get at least into a campground. And in this part of the of California, that's where I have to go. There's nothing around. I'm in the greater Bay Area. And there's... Um, no place for me to go other than a campground. And so tonight's my last night with my friends and then I'm gonna to go to a campground. But first I'm gonna to go to Les Schwab today and uh, finally exchange that tire um, that I've been carrying around in my shower for a while. So I'm looking forward to getting that tire out of my shower. it for you. After spending several days boondocking on the side of Lake Mead, I decided to move on. And as I was going back out that road, I'm driving along and I hear clunk, plop, 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 and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> parked here on the street in a residential neighborhood I'll probably just go find some place quiet and in the shade to uh, maybe get some work done and uh, maybe I'll get a haircut today we'll see but yeah it's been kind of cooler than normal here which is nice because otherwise it can get really hot here 90s 100 yeah so I'm finishing up my coffee I dug out all of my uh, warranty information so I've got, I've got my warranty and my receipt, and it's uh, not quite 9 o'clock, so Les Schwab is just a few minutes away. And I'm going to hit the road and head over there. And then I've got a birthday party tonight for a friend. And um, then tomorrow night I'll be in a campground, my, my go-to campground here. All right. Today's the day I get my tire out of my shower. All right, I dropped the rig off. They said it's gonna be about an hour and a half, so I think I'll walk over to the Supercuts down the street and get a haircut. And to think I used to pay $100 for a haircut. Good morning. So I'm going into the city today, San Francisco, to see Beach Blanket Babylon. It's been a San Francisco, San Francisco tradition for a long time, as long as I've been here, and I've never seen it, and I heard recently that they're closing, that the show is going to end at the end of this year. And so uh, while I was in town, I asked my friend Christy if she wanted to go, because and she had never seen it before either, and uh, so we're going to go do that today. It's Sunday. This was my lovely camp for the night. stayed at a warehouse. I had been staying at a uh, state park that has what is called a, I think it's a layover camp they call it. Uh, it's not really a campground, just if you're en route and you need a place to stay, you can stay overnight, but check-in's not until four, and then you have to be out at nine o'clock in the morning and it's $12. So I did that. I uh, did that a couple, not last night, the night before, and then at nine o'clock I had to leave. They have a park that I could have stayed in, but then they would have charged me an extra six bucks to hang out in the park. And I was like, I just need to work. I'm not gonna charge, pay $6. So I just drove around to find a, a warehouse area. And since it was uh, Saturday, it was pretty easy to find something that wasn't open. And I stayed here, think, plan, totally planning on going back to the campground at four, but then I just got comfortable here. I hadn't seen anybody come through all day. And sometimes that sometimes that's a secret to stealth camping. Get there early because if you want to knock on the door, if somebody's going to kick you out, it's better to happen in daylight. Um, of course, there are certain stealth situations where you don't want to get there until after dark because you really want to fly under the radar. But that's usually, usually like in more residential areas and things like that. I'm actually in a warehouse that's for lease. So this warehouse next to me is empty. The one down by the road isn't. So it's a long warehouse. I'm not going to show you that. 
because I don't want to give away where I am. Not only is it a weekend, just nobody um, is is in, nobody is even in that warehouse. And so I've been out here for almost 24 hours and hadn't seen anybody out here at all. Nobody bothered me. I am right near a train, so the train, I didn't sleep that great. The train was pretty loud. I think it's coming. There's both Amtrak and freight trains. So anyway, uh, yeah, you know, I'm really anxious to get out of the Bay Area. Yeah, I could have stayed with friends, but like I said, I was, I was fine in the campground and, you know, really didn't mean to do this, but um, this is just kind of where I ended up, and I don't mind. I really don't mind. Uh, staying on the street at a friend's house is um, nice when you're visiting with friends, but it gets to be a little claustrophobic, you know, because you're worried about their neighbors and you're worried about them. And, uh, you know, I, some neighborhoods, you know, you don't necessarily want to look like a person living out of your uh, RV. And, uh, you know, I try to be respectful about my friends when I'm visiting them. So, uh, so I, I feel more comfortable, honestly, in a place like this. It's early. The BART train is at noon and it's only like 8.30 right now. But I was reading the BART Bay Area Rapid Transit, that's the Bay Area subway. And they um, they don't allow over, oversized vehicles, anything over 19 feet in their parking lots, it says, which is ridiculous. But the, the BART station I'm going to is um, very suburban. It's not gonna be crowded. I know they have a huge parking lot all kind of out in the back. So I wanna get there early. If, if BART police is gonna come by, I wanna make sure I'm there. Um, I can fit in a, in a regular parking spot. So I'm hoping that I can get away with it. I mean, I'm just going in for the day do, using BART for what BART is for, <laughs> to commute into the city. So I don't know. Um, and if that doesn't work out, then I'm gonna have to go to a different BART station and try to find street parking that I don't have to pay for for the whole time I'm gonna be in the city today. So, um, all right, well, that's, that's gonna be our day. I'm, I'm taking you with me. I can't film in Beach Blanket Babylon, but we'll uh, take the camera along anyway and kind of show the theater and show the process and maybe even do a recap afterwards and go out to dinner in the city with my friend Christy. So, all right, let's get our day started. go. One of the nice things about the stealth camping thing and having things to do and needing to move is I get to enjoy moments like this. En route, I stopped here to see if I might be able to camp here overnight because it's going to be a late night in the city. And uh, I ended up at a marina on the bay. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. I'm in a sweatshirt, but it's not that cold at all. Could be a lot colder. Still a couple hours from needing to uh, catch the train, so I had plenty of time to just kind of hang out here for a minute. <sighs> it smells like home. The area is beautiful, but it's so crowded, and everywhere I look, I see signs. Know this, know that. I mean, no, 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 no. California is definitely the no state. <laughs> no, you cannot. But when you have crowds and a lot of people and a lot of people with not a lot of common sense. Oh, bummer. I'm not going to be able to talk. You're not going to be able to hear me. Bummer. Okay, bye. Well, I made it to the BART station, and luckily, as soon as I pulled in, there was a whole bunch of BART cops, and I asked them if it was okay for me to park there, and they said, yeah, especially since it was a Sunday and it was free parking. They said my rig would be fine all day there. So, heading into the city to see my friend Christy.
welcome to a San Francisco tradition beach blanket Babylon. They are celebrating over 17,000 performances and it's been seen by over 6 million people worldwide. And I've heard it's an awesome show that features pop and political parodies, great costumes, and they're known for their outrageously giant and very interesting hats. So I'm really excited about seeing the show. Yeah, see? Lots of people are taking video. Babylon was awesome. Uh, video and, uh, and cameras were completely prohibited and I didn't feel like getting kicked out so I don't know that I got anything. I tried to kind of be on the DL and get a little bit. So what would you think Christy? <laughs> oh I thought it was great. <laughs> so it was really good and, it, and it's been running in San Francisco since I think I saw 1974. So it ends uh, New Year's Eve this year 2019 so if you haven't seen it and you're coming to the city I highly recommend it. We had the only tickets that were left were the like the orchestra they were $130 a piece but honestly the, um, they were really good. They were really good and the club is beautiful it was built in like 1917 as like the Italian community center or something like that. It's a beautiful small theater. There is no bad seat in the house. So you can get any seat and you're going to get really good view. So it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. If you remember the video that I did in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I went to the little uh, local theater thing, it kind of reminded me of that. So it's got a, very, a lot of local references, a lot of local stuff in it, and it's really fun. So uh, yeah, if you're coming to the city, I suggest that you get there and see it before it stops existing since 1974. It's kind of sad that it's going away. And now we're going to one of my favorite restaurants. One of ours, she likes yes. it too. Uh -huh. The Slanted Door. It's Mother's Day, but we're going to sit at the bar. Hopefully we can get a, a seat at the bar down at the Ferry Building and uh, have a late lunch, early dinner. Cool. It was fun. Sorry you couldn't go with me. I tried, <laughs> but I didn't want to get kicked out. <laughs> no, I'm just going to, this is a great view right here. <laughs> Don't stop. I remember there's a picture of um, me, you, Alicia, and Daniel. Oh. Here, and I think a couple of other people. We just saw a uh, beach like the Babylon in San Francisco and then we sat down and had lunch. My favorite San Francisco spot. This land of door. I'm here. Well, with a, after a little bit of a fiasco with my with getting my tire exchanged at Les Schwab, first they changed the wrong tire. They changed the outer dually when I told them it was the inner dually. So they took off what I thought was a brand new tire and replaced it with another brand new tire. And I'm like, and they left the bald one on the inner dually. And I'm like, what did you do? And they showed me there was actually a tear in the other tire, which made sense because I thought a rock had gotten stuck between the two and that's why the first one broke. So after waiting an hour and a half, two hours, they, they did the wrong tire, but it needed to be changed anyway, so I had to get the a second tire done. So I ended up with two brand new tires, which wasn't a bad thing. Uh, but now, this outer, this brand new tire they just put on, and I'm going to get out of the wind, is low. I noticed it when I put it up on my blocks to level it out the other day. You could really see how, when it was up on the block, it was really, really squished. So I just tested it and it's only at like 50 PSI and it's supposed to be at 80. So luckily I'm still in the Bay Area, so I'm gonna go back to Les Schwab today, a different Les Schwab, but I'm in a different town. I don't feel like going to the same one after they kinda, kinda screwed up, I guess. Yeah, they kinda screwed up, sorta. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the tire they changed first did need to be changed. Um, it's just interesting that when they took that off, they didn't even question the, the almost bald one on the inside. So, um, yeah, I, so I'm not feeling too confident. So I'm going to go to a different one today. It's only 10 in the morning. Uh, it's only 10 in the morning. This is like my last day in the Bay Area, so I might as well go get this done. Um, yeah, especially I can't be driving around on a tire that's that low. And it shouldn't be that low. It's a brand new tire. Well, let's go see... Um, if I can get that done today. Okay, as I suspected, it was the valve stem. This 
is old and it was loose and it was causing the leak. They changed, well, this isn't a valve stem. They changed the valve stems when they changed the tires, but the valves extender so that on the duals you can get in there and um, get air in them. So they put a new shorter one on and this one is old and frayed and you can see, so it was causing it to leak out of the valve stem. So, oh yeah, it's even got a, it's broken here. So, all right, cool. So we're ready to go, done with that. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't okay, well, it's my last day in the San Francisco Bay Area before I head up, start heading up north and start um, preparing for my hike, my staging place for my hike and uh, yeah, my hair looks funky because I just took a shower and I twisted it up and I got it cut and it's a little short. Anyway, yeah, so thank God I'm leaving the Bay Area. I've been here about 10 days and uh, while it's wonderful to see friends and I really got to connect with some people I haven't seen in a while, so it was wonderful. And, uh, you know, they were very generous to let me park in front of their house and in their driveways and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's still just a little stressful. I move almost every day and I've got the noises of the city and stuff like that. And um, I've been in a campground. I got here back last night and I spent a couple nights here when I first got here. But, um, you know, even the campground, you can see around me, you know, there's people around me, all around me. And the peacocks here are really loud. <laughs> So I do look forward to getting back in the forest where it's really quiet and kind of away from the city. But it's been a wonderful time here in the San Francisco Bay Area seeing people. I always stop here and visit with people on the way through. So um, this time I had fun seeing Beach Blanket Babylon. And uh, like I said, one of my friends cooked a delicious vegan dinner for me one night and got to celebrate uh, 17th birthday with my my little sister from Big Brothers Big Sisters and 17 we've known each other for 12 years so it's been a wonderful trip as far as seeing people and really getting to connect with friends um, which is really important uh, but it's time to mosey time to move on so I'm gonna dump my tanks before I go my friend Christy is gonna hit the road with me up to Oregon and uh, and then she, we will part ways as I move on so uh, let's get ready let's get on the road yay i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in the san francisco bay area again every time we come we get to see some different things i'll see you next time wherever that may be and in the meantime be happy be free and be kind i'll see you soon